Hello, and welcome to a new edition of True Audio Files. So today, uh, I'm going to talk about what everybody else is talking about this week, and that is the newly announced Super Deluxe Edition of Revolver. What uh, is interesting about this one, are there's a couple of different things. The one obvious one, which has been uh, a true uh, staple of all these Super Deluxe reissues that have come out for the Beatles recently, is a new stereo remix by Giles Martin. There's also going to be some studio outtakes and demos and things like that, like there are in all the other out, uh, versions. A uh, couple unique things about this new uh, version, this, this release, though, which... Uh, some good, some bad. So for, um, the, the bad, uh, unfortunately they are not going to issue a version of this with a Blu-ray included that, uh, previous versions or previous super, super deluxe editions from the Beatles have had a Blu-ray that has had high resolution version of the album and then surround sound version of the album. And, uh, so that's a little disappointing. Uh, it's good for me in some ways, though, as uh, I used to have to buy, or not have to, but I wa wanted to buy, have that surround sound mix in the high res on a physical format. Uh, so I would tend to buy the vinyl box set, which didn't include the Blu-ray, and then the CD box set that did include it. So, I mean, monetarily speaking, it's going to be nice for me because I'm just going to buy the vinyl version. But I really wish I could own the surround sound version uh, uh, on a Blu-ray. Uh, but just for those of you who uh, know and understand, <clears throat> or I should say, for those who uh, want to be able to hear the surround uh, a version of this in surround sound, it is going to be available. It appears that it's only going to be available on streaming services, maybe just Apple Music. Uh, I don't know that for a fact. If someone knows any more than that, uh, more about that than I do, please let me know in the comments section. But from what I can tell, the surround sound version is only going to be available on Apple Music. My guess is Apple probably paid for uh, the the sole exclusive rights to it. So not even available to get it on a hard copy or even, I don't believe you'll be able to even get it as a download. But maybe Apple will do that. I don't know. Um, my To my knowledge, the only way you could buy Music from Apple is in the lossy stereo or mono uh, versions of the albums. So anyway, so there is that uh, drawback. Uh, for those who want high-res version of the remix and the demos and things like that, one thing that you will be able to do is companies like Kobas and HD Tracks and uh, there's several others, but those are the two main ones I go to. Those companies will have the Super Deluxe version available as a high-res download for purchase. So there's some good news there. And uh, I believe it's going to be $24.96 because at least Taxman was $24.96, the remix uh, for it. Which uh, brings me to my other point that for those of you that don't know, you can listen to the 2022 remix of Taxman on pretty much all streaming services, I think, now. I listened to it on Kobuz in 2496. I also uh, plan on listening to it in um, surround sound soon. I have not yet listened to it on my sound or surround sound system through Apple Music, but I hope to do that soon. Uh, but I will give you what are my thoughts and impressions on the remix of Taxman later in the episode here. But let me kind of go into uh, some of the other things that are uh, information for the new deluxe set. One big one is that there will be a mono version on record. Supposedly, it is going to be an all-analog cut from Sean McGee at Abbey Road. Now, to be clear, though, the rest of the records, the which means the re 2022 remixes and the outtakes and demos and things like that, those are all going to be digital. Uh, the remixes are all remixed digitally, so there's no way that those, well, there's no logical way that those would be analog. But you'll get a full analog version of the mono mix if uh, that's so you desire. You know, the only way you were able to get it before uh, was either, you know, 60s pressings uh, from the UK, maybe the US, and then the 2014 mono box set. 
Uh, I guess they did sell them individually as well in that 2014 era, but uh, they are long out of print and very expensive. So you'll be able to buy the box set, get the new remix, get a mono uh, cut of the uh, mono analog cut of the record as well. Most people like the mono mix better. I would say that I would agree with them that I like the mono mix of Revolver over the stair old stereo mix. There's just too much hard pan left right stuff going on that I just don't like. And that's basically been the case with most older Beatles albums. You know, I would say Re Revolver, Rubber Soul, and prior to that were all kind of a lot of hard panning left and right and maybe occasionally some stuff in the middle. Uh, and in the case of this, there is some stuff in the middle on the uh, newer, or I'm sorry, the old stereo mix. And uh, let me get into that now. So uh, now that I've given you all the great info on the new box set, the I took some time and listened to three versions of the stereo mix. Well, two versions of the original stereo mix and then the new remix. I listened to, I have some uh, needle drops that I've done of my MoFi revolver and my, um, and one from the BC-13 blue box set, which is considered by many one of the better reissues of the, of the Beatles stereo releases. You know, if you can't get yourself an original UK, this BC-13 box set that I came, came out, I want to say in 77, 78, somewhere around there, uh, is your next go-to piece. And so I've listened to a digitized copy of that, a digitized copy of my MoFi version uh, on, that's record, on record from the, their box set, and then I listened to the new remix. And I will have to say that uh, the new remix is, uh, in my opinion, quite a bit better than the old mix. And just for the main fact of what I mentioned before, where, you know, it's all not all hard pan left and right and maybe something in the center. You've got, you know, your your core basic stuff in the center, you know, your bass guitar, the drums, uh, the vocals for the most part. Um, but then they kind of separate the, the guitars out some and some of the sound effects, you know, like the tambourine, I believe it is, and some other things are, are separated uh, wider in the field. Uh, I think the one guitar uh, that kind of just hits that one note uh, constantly through most of the, the track is on the uh, right side, a little bit panned to the right. And it's definitely uh, what I really liked, what I noticed right off the bat with that is it's definitely well separated from all the other instruments and vocals. I mean, it's really dead set in a, center, in a spot where nothing else is near it in the sound stage and the imaging. I would say if there was a drawback to the new remix that I've heard is, and I don't know if it's because of some of the, the uh, track separation technologies that they've incorporated to try to separate the tracks that were um, previously combined together, but there seemed to be a little bit of weird um, imaging issues in the remix, uh, on the vocals especially, I noticed, but then some of the other things too where sometimes the the imaging would fluctuate a little bit a little bit left a little bit right but it was very minor and kind of nitpicking because overall i still really like the remix better which has been the case for a lot of the remixes i would say the only one that i was not as big of a fan of um was abbey road let it be was good as well but you know it's probably not both of those were already good stereo remixes or stereo mixes um, but you know, like Sgt. Pepper and the White Album, I really, really like the remixes and I, it sounds like I'm going to really like this remix too. So that is everything I have for you for today. Have you been able to listen to the new remix of Taxman? And are you excited about the super deluxe box set for Revolver as I am? Uh, I'd love to hear your comments below. Uh, and if you liked what you saw here, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And if you want to know when my new videos come out, hit that alert bell. And I'm also available on social media. I've got my Facebook group, True Audio Files, and then I'm also on Instagram and Twitter. So that's everything for today. I hope you have a great day and look forward to seeing you later. Thanks a lot.